did a factory restart on the Knox 800 and I'm at my favorite tot lot in Oakland. Glad to be back and to see what's here. I haven't been here in a couple weeks, so thank you so much for joining me. Let's see what we get. Yeah, yeah. First target seems like a, a dime. Now I was just using the, uh, the Mine Lab 705. So I'm going to have to re-remember everything now. Oh, got our first coin there. Yep, fresh dime. Got kind of a scratchy 13. That's usually a, a nickel. Oh. Looks like we got a nickel. I think leaving this place alone for a couple weeks did, will do me good because I had mixed results, some really good stuff, and then nothing really. Looks like there's going to be more than one nickel in there. I think everything's going to be close to the surface too, so. Oh, something else right here. Yep, another nickel. I think there's going to be another nickel. <laughs> Someone's playing with nickels out here. Another nickel. Faint sound. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm just, I think everything is just on the surface. I can just kick it away so you guys can see. See how easy it is. Oh, I've been watching a lot of uh, mill detecting as usual. If you're just starting out or you've been doing this a long time, if if you're if you do this, you're still gonna find gold chains. You're still gonna you're still gonna find rings. You're still gonna find everything, but you're missing more than half of the foot space that you're covering. So what I do is I actually am doing this. I don't know if you can see the difference. And I got big long strokes, you can go you can go slow, you can go fast, depends on the detector, but you definitely want to overlap to watch. And now I'm gonna overlap that. Then I'm gonna overlap that. Then I'm gonna overlap that. Then I'm gonna overlap that. Right? And then maybe even check it again. Especially if you're just in a small little area like this. But if you're doing this, let me show you. Which everyone does, trust me, everyone does. I do it, <laughs> I do it at the end of my hunts. I do it in the beginning, whenever I'm in a hurry. That's just my little tip there. And you'll find more stuff in a concentrated area too. Maybe foil, I think. We got like part of an old jack or a cross or something. Nice. That can go in the box. Looks like we got another coin and it's gonna be something that was super deep regular penny. Looks like we got a tiny little earring somewhere. Oh hey, the sun's coming up. This is also one of the, the biggest and oldest bird sanctuaries in America is at Lake Merritt. This guy's doing bird calls over here. Can't see it with the GoPro, but it's got some interesting calls. And it's just got this little earring. And no special markings on it. That's what it sounds like. So it is cold and the only way to stay warm is to keep swinging. So I'm down with that. 
All right, going in there. Boom. So, so far, just a couple coins, that little piece of jewelry, and really nothing. So, hoping for a ring. And I found some stuff that, and anything that I might have left behind from a long time ago. So, which I already found a penny that was about a foot deep. So, this is a perfect 11. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say that it sounds like gold, which I found recently with the Mine Lab 705 Xterra. I actually have my uh, my coil on the ground. Not sure about that signal, so just give it a couple of kicks. See if the signal changes. This might be foil or something. That definitely sounds like foil. Okay, foil for sure. Thought I heard another signal in there somewhere. <laughs> See the guy in his little bird calls. It's pretty funny. Oh. Funny sounding. Oh, that sounds interesting. I don't know if I can sniff it out. Let's see what the pinpoint has to say. Stud earring, it looks like. What's left of one? Huh. Tiny. This smells like a dime. Actually, I see it right here. Dime. Another little tiny earring. That's all I'm finding today. <laughs> Can't tell what that is. Maybe a little buffalo. Found another little jacks. Almost a complete one this time. Might have our first quarter here. It's right next to the post, so you never know. I 
One quarter, state quarter, state parks quarter. Still a really strong signal right here somewhere. There we go. The quarter I was waiting for. Nothing special, but I'm glad there's just a quarter in there. Otherwise, I was thinking I didn't know what was going on. This might be something. Nope. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Save that for someone that wants to dig in here. Good ground score right here. Look at this thing. I don't think it's anything special yet. It's got that look in it. It's nothing special. But I'm uh, going to do this little curb strip right here, see what I find. Maybe that little area right there. Show you the results. All right, that curb strip, quarter dime, nothing special. I'm going to do this one now, maybe up there. Wish I could get in there, which I might be able to, but uh, see what we get. This might be our best signal that we've had so far. Sounds like it's more than one, so could be something good. Let's see if we got here. Looks like we got a special bottle cap. That can't be it though. Okay, here's the quarter. So we got a special bottle cap and a quarter. Uh, that was the signal, but I bet you there's another coin in there somewhere. This is the most interesting thing I found so far. Looks like it had a bunch of gold in it. Maybe I can tell what, what, what it was, but, uh, uh, case, China. <laughs> well, still a cool find. Found a lot of watches. I think I got a ring. I thought it was a keychain, but... Still looks like a keychain. Nope, that's a ring. Wow, a little copper guy. That kind of still looks like a keychain. Bam! Oh, yeah. Just doing these curb strips, just getting changed, nothing special. Um, but uh, I'll take the ring for sure. Gonna be winding down. There was a homeless encampment up by on Drury Hill, and uh, both of them are gone. So I'm gonna do a quick little hunt there, but pretty much out of battery. So well, I'm back at Drury Hill, and it hasn't let me down. I think I just found a ring right here. Looks like it was silver plated at once, one time. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, that's going to clean up nice. Thinking there's some more around here too. They always leave in haste and there's one other spot over there where the grass hasn't been trimmed. That's, I think I see a ring right there actually. What's this? Uh, <laughs> look, like a ring, look like a ring from a distance. But uh, yeah, second piece of jewelry I found. That one's too big to go in the box. So um, I've been really hitting the rings. I found a ring pretty much every, uh, every hunt now or, or more than one. So uh, just got to keep trying. See what else we find here. Sounds promising. Okay. I think I just found some kind of coin. Yeah. Be surprised this place is pretty old. This is a San Mateo transit token. Never found one of these before. Don't know what year this thing's from. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah.